Um, you know something else that that surprised me about you as an artist, and it wasn't as common as it is today. Your your first album came out in '89. And you literally yeah. dropped the second album in 90. Nobody back in them days were dropping albums a year apart, 12 months apart, 15 months apart. It nope. just wasn't done. What, nope. what made you, number one, uh, get back in the studio so quick? Because usually when you blow, as you know. Because, because Prince dropped the album every year and I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> literally. Literally. Because Prince and Stevie Wonder was able to drop one to two albums a year, and you ain't gonna stop me from doing the same thing. No more, no less. No more, no less. I stayed in the studio. Like after the first album, I would, you know, shoot a video, shoot, you know, we shot like four videos the first album, but I brought my equipment on the road. And that was the cool thing about being on the NWA tour like seeing Dr. Dre, that's what Dre would do. Yep. Quinman was on the road. Like Dre would have his stuff like, yo, check this beat out. And I'd be like, yo, check this beat out. You know, that's how we were. Um, so, so, um, yeah, that's, that wasn't nothing to me. It was like, you know, I'd rather be in the studio than out of the studio. You know, may, may, I credit. And I wanted to get my advance quick enough. <laughs> But again, I got to give it to you because at that age, um, and I've been again, you've been on tour just like I have. Yeah. Uh, to to get artists to focus on tour, because because you're performing at night, you're up early in the morning. You're probably doing a press run. You're probably doing morning radio. You're doing something that's keeping you busy. Yes. And one of the areas that I always see artists struggling is while they're on the road, you got to find time to do the thing that made you pop in the first place, which is, right, get in the studio and record. Yep. And most artists can't do that consistently because Being if a girl, girls, they're getting high, they, they, they are having the time of their life. So again, you're such a young man to be able to, to have the presence of mind. I'm taking my equipment on the road with me. Yeah. And I'm literally, as we are driving state to state, I'm making beats. That, that, that's just not the way it is done commonly. It, it's just not. Well, and, and to have enough music to put out an album one year later. I think I think it's a it's, it's it's a mixture of a lot of things, and you touched on it. One, I don't drink and I don't smoke. Never have. Um, chasing chicks, yes, that was a the worst. I was the worst at that. Meaning, that's all I did. Um, and but I think being on the road is the best thing that can happen to an artist, and the worst thing. So the best thing is you're being exposed to forms of music that you may not ever be exposed to at home, and you may make music a little bit different because of that. Because especially a New York rapper in 1989, it's all about New York, and no other place in the world should ever try to do hip hop because it's all about New York. So when you start going down south, you start going to the Midwest, start going to the West Coast, and you hear this other hip hop, you may hate it, but you got to understand that, you know what? Maybe these beats need to be a little bit slower next time. Maybe I need to chop my wordplay up a little bit next time because I'm exposed. I'm seeing what other people like. They like what I'm doing, but they like what Too Short is doing way more than what I'm doing. And you know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, I'm not going to ever be too short. I'm not going to be cube, but maybe I can learn something from this. Where a lot of New York rappers are like, get that out of here. Like, I ain't, I ain't listening to that. So you have that factor. So that's some of the good things that can happen. But like you said, you're now exposed to drug life that you could have never been exposed to before as a kid. No, Another level. On another level, you don't have the money for it. 
So now people are pushing things on you. Um, and it's 420, so you might as well talk about <laughs> So um, <laughs> people are pushing these things on you. Accelerated sex life. You know what I'm saying? A man on the road will have more sex in a week than some men in a lifetime. Understand That's that. People do not understand this. This is the truth. Nobody want to talk about it. It is a 100% truth. More sex in a week than in a lifetime. Some tours are only two weeks long. Some tours are a month. So imagine you, you, you multiply that by four or eight. You have more sex than every man in your family did <laughs> ever. So you're exposed to a hyper hypersexuality, which now exposes you to disease, possibly. Also exposes you to, and there's too many rappers that can you can name, to multiple children. Yep. Yep. That you would have never had if you would have just focused on your stuff or not been a rapper or in the music industry. And so now, if you're not mentally prepared for that, you're never going to get back in the studio and because your mind ain't even there. Your mind is on a hundred other things. And, and people, places, and things are pulling you in 200 directions, and you can't focus on that. Um, and I think for me... I focused on what I was supposed to focus on, but I just think that um, time, music, and vibes were just changing at the same time. So for me, I'm focusing on this while everything is doing this over there. So sometimes things didn't add up, but my focus was always, always there, minus girls. But I always knew how to compartmentalize my chase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, just meet me at the studio. And <laughs> so you, you got to sit there and watch me work. Um, um, but, or just dating talented girls and I'm gonna put you to work, come sing, <laughs> things like that. You know, um, it, that was more like, more of my thing, you know, it was, but I watched, I did watch a lot of rappers not be able some rappers some rappers got so big that they could cut through all of that you know you can just be extra large and things just fall in your lap and you're able to do studio time and drink time and smoke time all at the same time um but then some rappers just couldn't couldn't cut it you know and no. then real life real life kicks in i know a lot of artists um the downfall of their careers was the road. I mean, they just had too much fun on the road. They got distracted, but I always put myself in the place of an artist. It, to have that level of discipline, um, you, 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 you're, you're performing at night, then you're in the after party. You're doing that to two, three, four in the morning. You gotta get up, you gotta do morning radio. You gotta get back on the bus or, or you're heading to an airport and you're taking a plane, you touch down three hours later, two hours later, however long the flight is. Yep. It is, and it's a cycle. It's every day. Where yep. do you find time to be creative? And if you are overindulging on all of the things that come with that life, it could really jam you up. Well, and you never get back to it. Creativity presents itself in all things. So the, the real creative person, even through all of that, sees the creativity in that. And the experience they go through is what they write about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, something happened at the club that night. Oh, this is a whole story. You know, um, something happened with this girl. Oh, this is a whole record. Something happened in between this thing and that thing. You know, that's a song. You know, that between that and I, I call it escape velocity, when an artist reaches escape velocity, meaning they're in the stratosphere, they're like superstar status. 
it starts to level out because the bigger you become, the less time you have to play around. You don't have you don't have the luxury to hang out anymore. You don't have the luxury to do all the extra things you did when you were coming up. So now everything is a schedule. Radio, yep. studio, show, flight. There's no in-between things to mess up if you get to that high, 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 high level. You know, it's everybody in the in-between parts trying to get to that high level that it's like a video game, man. It's all just obstacles that try to stop you from getting to that escape velocity level and and continue it. For, for real. Yeah, it's That's not an easy think. life at all. It's not an no. easy life. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.